Alright! What up folks, you're watching Jabby TV. I am Jabby Kawai, joined by Philip Smithy. We're looking at Swing Kids, trailer number one from Movie Clips Indie, the YouTube channel. Let us check this out. Here we go. Tommy boy, you wanna dance? I dance? You put yourself at risk if you go on that stage. Can you hear? Thousands spring to their feet. Dude, this looks awesome. I'm completely hooked. That looks awesome. What is that, like, what? What is this? Annapurna made this, right? They're a big deal. The second I saw some of these shots, I was like, what? Well, let's look at the synopsis real quick. The story yeah. of Rogi Su, a tap dancing North Korean soldier who was held captive in the Joji prison camp during the Korean War, based on Korean musical Rogi Su, written by Jang Woo Sung and directed by Kim Tae Hyun. Wow. Whoa. You this is so interesting. <laughs> What? Go ahead. My mind goes to weird places, but it was, it reminded me of like, what's the movie that Channing Tatum did about being a dancer? <laughs> step Up. Oh. It was like, Oh, I thought I, I it reminded me of like, Step Up to War or something like, it was the weird, at first it made no sense and almost made me laugh, but I'm like, the shots were so beautiful. Yeah. That I was hooked immediately. It's, it's very interesting because it's almost like a heightened version of what I feel like we kind of deal with. He wants to do this thing, but it's like you're not really supposed to because you're Asian. And he's like, no, but I like I like this. Right. I really genuinely enjoyed this thing. Like, let me do it. It's one of those things where they don't want him to, and he might get he might get killed over it, which is kind of ridiculous when you think about it. But he loves it so much, it's like he doesn't know anything else. Almost like in the wrestler where Mickey Rourke. Oh. Has to wrestle. Yeah, that's all he knows how to do. Sure. Even if it's gonna kill him, right? Or any other Aronofsky movie for that matter. This is something like I think any artist understands, where it's like it doesn't matter if it's unacceptable. It's like it's what you are are, are being called towards. It's such an interesting story. Wait, did it say it was based on a real thing? I think so. Because I'm like anything that strange has to be like what's the what is the base of this? Well, I mean, it says it's based on okay, a musical. Yeah. So I mean, I don't know how, how authentic okay. it is, but like even irrespective of its authenticity to to like. Real life, I, I can imagine this kind of thing happening where you have people, even within his own, you know, close proximity of, of friends and family, you can see this being a problem. Sure. Where it's like, no, you can't. We were just talking to a uh, a movie star the other day from India who had to run away from home to pursue his dream of acting because wow. his parents didn't want him to do it. So wow. he literally was like sleeping on the streets for a minute, like. It it's no. so, it, and you have to really, you know, respect people who are so driven by a purpose, by a dream that they're willing to do absolutely whatever it takes to make something like that happen. Yeah. Because that is, uh, that's not a completely uncommon story. People who like really suffer for their art yeah. to make their name or to make something happen that they want to do. I feel like those are the stories that we're all supposed to be learning from because yeah. that commitment, that dedication, that perseverance. What I'm being reminded of is almost like the, um, the Jackie Robinson movie. Mm. Did you see that? I think. Yeah. Oh, 42. 42, yeah. Like, it's that same, it's, you'll put yourself at risk if you go on that stage. Yeah. What's even more important to highlight though is that he's not South Korean, he's North Korean. So it's even more complicated. Yeah. Given, the, you know, that North Korea is, I don't know how long it's been what it is now, but it, as far as I understand, it's been a very complicated place for, sure. you know, a very long time. So, Aren't I, I don't know anything about it, but I like it looks really like it was really well shot. Um, that was the first thing that caught my attention was just how cool it was shot. Yeah, like it it's like really putting you inside the head of this guy who has just got so much energy and he's just got to move. Honestly, it you know. kind of has. Oh my god, who directed La La Land? Oh, you're talking about uh, Jason uh, Chazelle, Damien Chazelle. Damien Chazelle. Like you know, I'm like, oh, did he study Chazelle and try to like take a couple? Little things. It to... might, maybe, but what it reminds me more of is Billy Elliot. Oh, Did you okay. see Billy Elliot? It's no. About a, it's about a young kid in Northern England, I think it was Northern England, who really wanted to 
dance ballet mm. during a time like when that's really unacceptable. Like that's that's a girl's sport in, in that area. Like and it, everyone thought he was a poof, meaning they thought he was gay. And oh. he was like, no, I'm not. I just really like dancing. Like it, it calls to me. And he ended up. I think it was a true story. He ended up yeah. becoming like a, a professional ballet dancer. Honestly, like I and I've told you this story. Sometimes I just have to dance. That's I met my fiance because there was one day where I just had to dance. Yeah. I completely understand the necessity of just dancing. I am a problem at weddings. I have to bring an extra shirt. Sometimes I get that same uh, ambition and feeling, but then I put it in check because every time I dance, an angel loses his wings. <laughs> <laughs> well, so. that's, that's too bad. Um, you should take a class. I am taking a class. I'm taking um, ballet right taking now. Taking a class from him. I'm taking ballet at the moment so I can overcome that, that problem with myself. But anyway, I am very inspired by this trailer alone, and I really want to see this movie. I hope that, uh, oh, it comes out today. Oh, I'm go see it! A, I might go to Lemley Theater right after Where is this. It? I'm definitely gonna check that out when it comes out. That looks awesome. You guys, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Be honest, be verbose. Be sure to check out Philip Smithy on the social media. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out our other reactions, reviews, and short films. I'm Jabby Kway. This is Philip Smithy. Peace out.